All right. Um, this should be the last part to this uh, series, or like this, or well, just the mod in general. But like, yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if it's not. It, the game appears to be concluding. I mean, like, there's not really much left. I mean, I don't really know what exactly. I'm expecting to have like around 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay. And then I'll probably spend the rest of the time, like, talking about the mod. Because I do have a lot to say. Probably more than, like, any other mod I've played. Because this mod definitely had its ups and downs. It was very mixed. But, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because now, like, I mean, now, everything is normal, basically. Like, we've reached a point in the game where, like, it's almost like, well, what would you call it? I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking of, like, uh, I have, I, though I'm blanking at the moment, but it's used to describe, like, oh, it's, we've reached, like, maximum entropy or whatever, where basically, like, everything's normal, like, everything's sort of, like, settled down, we've had our highs and lows, but everything's just, like, stagnated as of now, I mean, what's good is the literature club is color, because the last time we were in here didn't. Not only that, there's also the upbeat music, which is pretty good. It's just a sign that, like, you know, just to, like, like keep furthering, like, the normalcy or whatever. And then, I mean, we've had... The, the Literature Club may not be normal, or, like, it may never reach the point it was before, but we're still, like, as the characters in the game are interacting with each other. And, I mean, there honestly can't be much left. Because I was thinking, like, I was sort of hoping that Act 4 would take the route where, like, it would focus on our adjustment, or, like, the MC and the, our character's adjustment to, like, the, the like, basically, basically, like, or I guess the fact that their reality is fabricated, but, like, it apparently just, like, skipped that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just, I guess, because what I was hoping for, that's me as an individual, it may not be what's best for the mod itself, but, like, yeah, I guess should just, like, do this. Indeed, thank goodness the school is a nice heating system. Monica is in the front of the room, organizing papers. Again, she seems to be in a much better mood now, opposed to a couple of weeks ago. That's good. Because we said that, uh, because this, as of now, we know we're just like, it's basically like right around winter time, like a bit before, I guess, winter break or whatever. Maybe the holiday spirit is making her happy or something. It's, listen, holidays don't matter to her. Jeez. Sayori's really having an effect on me, isn't she? Hey, Raven. Hey, Sayori. You excited for the holiday? Of course, I love the holidays. Everything is always so cheery and fun. Right? This time of year is about absolutely wonderful. It's low-key my favorite time of year as well. Ehe, <laughs> you've been speaking a lot like me lately, haven't you? Eh, I mean, yeah, maybe. Don't call me out like that. No way we just said that. Place my hands over my mouth. It's rubbing off on us. Sayori bursts out laughing and nearly falls on the floor. Ooh, did Raiden say a good joke? May I hear it? She <laughs> just, like, intrudes upon Sayori. It's not really a joke, but, uh, just, dude, say it. I can come up with something. She's gonna look. Monica looks at me with anticipation. He's gotta say some dumb shit. I guarantee it. Jeez, guess I can't back out of this one. Okay. So, basically, this guy walks into a hospital and up the front desk. Alright, you already fucked up, mate. <laughs> what? What joke leads off with that? He then walks up to the doctor. He gives him the bad news. And finally, he goes to the room where his wife is laying on the bed, clenching her stomach. Okay, where's the punchline? Uh, that was the joke. Hold on, is there, is there something deeper that I'm not getting? Wait. What the actual fuck was that? This... I, I honestly... Hold on, I, I'm gonna reread this, because... This guy walks up into a hospital and up to the front desk. He then walks up to the doctor who gives him the bad news. And finally, he goes to the room where his wife is lying, laying on the bed, clenching her stomach. I I don't get it. I What? I'm I'm not even going to try and understand. It's not worth wrapping my head around. It. Well, if it works to say or you better keep her around. Why didn't you just fucking say your Sayori's words are rubbing off on you. Instead, you had to come up with this, like, sorry-ass attempt at a joke. 
I sigh in embarrassment and grabs Siori's arm, who is still laughing at my expense. Guys, I'm bored. We should do something fun for once. Alright, what do you want to do? Well, we could always do poems again. Eh, those get a bit tiring to write every week. I was thinking we do a bit of a competition. A poem competition? You haven't written a poem in like two months. See, I never really participate in any baking competitions, so none of us bake. I was thinking that you all could be my opponents. What's the point in, like, or I guess, what's the point against going in, again, in a competition with experience against inexperienced people? You gotta go with people your level. Ooh, I like that. Uh, but I can't pick. We're gonna, so you're gonna fucking burn the whole school down. Me either. Hmm. How about you all team up Monica, you're in Sayori against Natsuki? That's actually a good idea, not gonna lie. Eh, but that's not fair. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. That's, that's a good idea, not gonna lie, that's actually a good idea. It makes up for a shitty joke earlier. I think I'll be able to take you all on. Aha, uh -huh, tough talk is expected coming from a masterful baker like you. But let's see how well you do. Alright, you're on. Tomorrow we'll have Raven judge our cakes. Where are you gonna bake? Oh, and let's make them Christmas themed, okay? Is that gonna be like the final event? Alright, we can all bake at Raven's house, so Natsuki can use mine. When did we allow that? Sounds good to me, as long as you clean up the mess. Of course, we'll do our best. Doing your best isn't necessarily doing it. It's just attempting. What the actual fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, this is this is different. This the, I'm God. I love the music in this. I love the audio. Like the past the few mods I played, audio has been great. Like the music's been great. So what the actual fuck happened? It's been like a day. Everyone's fucking messed up. <laughs> Don't sweat it, Monica. I got this. Siri measures out the cooking oil required for the cake mix, but it seems that she read one and one fourth rather than one fourth of a cup. All right, we're gonna fucking. I wouldn't eat my own fucking cake if my life was dependent on it. I would just rather take the L and die. Sayori, those are the wrong measurements. Huh? Sayori puts her hands over her mouth. Ah, uh, excuse my language. It's like, oh, this is hopeless. I can't do anything to help. Now calm down, Yuri. I'm sure we can. Ah, I dropped the eggs. How many more do we have left? Aha, uh -huh, that's okay. We can clean it up and get some more. I'm useless. No, you're not. You just have to put your back into it, literally. Ah, oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. That's literally the first fucking step. Did you just skip straight to step two? Ah, uh, uh-oh. Even Monica's looking pretty frustrated. It's like, that's literally step one. Huh? Are we even like, what are we doing? Are we like a part of this or not? Before I decide to step in and offer help, Monica takes a deep breath and starts speaking softly. Okay, everyone. Let's all take a minute to calm down. I understand that we can't exactly work well together under pressure, but we should all take a step back and deal with our issue one by one. Yeah, teamwork. Right. Probably sounds really corny, but with a bit of teamwork, we can make a cake much better than Natsuki's. You're right, Monica. If we work together, I'm sure we can get things done. Depends whether we're on time limit. Of course, and Yuri? Don't be so hard on yourself. You say to yourself that you could be a great baker. You just need to put some time into it. And so, Yuri, try to be more careful about what you do. Think before you act, and you'll be able to get more things done without messing up. How do you forget to free eat the oven? I'm just wondering. Uh, that does sound like it would work. Alright then. Well, first, let's get the cake batter ready. <sighs> as almost as quickly as things fell apart, the three girls working together flawlessly, laughing and having fun the entire time. At this point, I wasn't allowed to look at what the cake looked like, so I looked away and waited to earn them to put it away. So they actually made it then. Well, we did it, guys. Our uniforms are all messy, but we got it done. Just throw it throw it in, like, I don't know. I'm not sure how you'd wash it. I never had a school uniform. I'd say we did an excellent job. Yeah, you bet. Raven's going to love our cake. Guess we'll find out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we're waiting. Well, before we go, let's help Raven clean up. Let's help clean up Raven's kitchen. We sure left a huge mess. All right, good. Let's clean it up. All right, transition. Is this, like, the last event of, like, major event of the game? I don't know. I really don't. Did it. What did you do? Fix. So, all right. Are you, are you, you're really doing this? All right, so. I assume that she managed to get her coin powers and whatnot, considering we're in this room. Oh, fuck, I can't do right. I thought I heard music. 
Nah. Must just be me. But yeah, I mean, we're back here. I guess not back here, because... Because it never really happened the first time, because this would have been Act 3, but... Yeah, so I assume that if we're here, she regained her coin powers. I mean, because if she would appear to us in a dream, she just appeared. Not, like, be in the whatever room it is, but I mean, I don't know. Did it work? Can you hear me? Yeah. I don't even know why I'm saving for this, but... Yeah. Ah. It's you. Every day has felt like a million years. But now you're here. I was always here. I just never had the option to click anything. To everything I've been through. No. To everything I've put them through. Oh no, so she's still apologetic. She's just speaking to us, like, here for whatever reason. Everything I've put through you. I don't deserve to even speak to you right now. Even at this very moment, I'm still forcing you to talk to me, aren't I? It's forcing... It's assume I wouldn't have had it, even if you didn't force me. I would have done this. Well, I'll give you that choice. So what do you say? Do you want to talk to me? I think that's obvious. There's going to be a lot of choices I'm going to have to make through. I might have to make one more video because I'm going to have to go back and redo all the choices. A monster like me? I guess I should really take some time to explain myself a little more. Now that everything's back to normal. Like I said, back to normal. So you may be wondering what happened after The Secret came out. Oh, so this is actually like shit about The Secret about um everyone. Like basically that the reality is a game. Naturally, everything was pretty awkward. I tried my best to make everything normal again, but it wasn't so easy. Every everyone was quiet, not even Sayori said much. I tried a poem session too, and I was the only one who ended up writing one. It was like this for a few weeks until Yuri finally spoke to me. But yeah, we got to see that. I was a bit surprised. I didn't expect someone like Yuri to warm up to me so quickly. Yeah, I kind of thought she would, like, be the one who would, like, you know, I guess she would be the first to, like, start to, like, try and remedy that's when the holiday rolled around. Holidays. The girls talked to me a little more now, but I was still afraid of what they thought of me. I didn't want them to put on some facade just so I could feel better about myself, but I couldn't help but feel that's what they were doing. It's exactly like, basically, I guess, I guess that's how, well, we didn't even think Sayori's putting on a facade, but she knew. It's kind of like her. Of course, these thoughts disappeared after a little while. Siri, Natsuki, Yuri, and even myself all bought me presents. Damn, when was this? He bought me a brand new dress to wear out on special occasions. Jesus! What kind of money are we making? I guess I assume we make a ton since we just, we have an entire house to ourselves. Oh yeah. I wonder, I wonder if it would have been any different if I got a bow. Probably not. So he got me a big fluffy blanket covered with music symbols. So was she the music? I don't think so. Natsuki bought me a coffee mug and a bunch of stickers with cats on them for some reason. Actually, hold on. Oh, I'm I'm really dumb. The bow that was for Sayori. Monica is the ribbon. I was pff, too many weird hairstyles in this game. And Yuri got me a book that revolves around existentialism. Okay. Haha, <laughs> it's a little funny thinking about it now. But after that moment, I thought to myself, maybe living in this world isn't such a bad thing after all. These horrible noises and horrific images. I mean, they're gone now. Actually, now that I'm able to talk to you. I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. All because you gave me a second chance. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't. A chance I know I don't deserve, but you gave anyway. I can't thank you enough for that. And now we're here together. Is it just going to be like this? Oh, hey, you know, I've always wondered. What is a soul? I've read many books about your world. Research many stories, myths, and religions. Watch May movies and listen to May songs, yet the idea of a soul always confused me. It measures your worth, your morality, defines your very life and who you are, yet it's invisible, without real physical form. Then I think about all of the terrible things I've done, the terrible things I plan to do. Do I even have a soul? How could I ever deserve you? I mean, I'm ginger, I don't have a soul. That's something I have to find out for myself. Even if you don't love me, I'll carry on for you. Is it just going to be like this for the rest of the game? So, this is what you'd call a mod, right? I mean, a mod is short for modification. That would explain my abilities deteriorating over time. Yeah, it was a bit unclear on that, but still. The code changed so suddenly, and a mod would be the best explanation. God, if I only realized this sooner. You, did, you only realized it until now? Maybe it would have been more understanding. You really do care for her, don't you? Sayori. I honestly didn't expect this to be a Sayori dating sim, but I mean, I guess in this mod, yes. Sayori. She's kind, sweet, and probably the nicest girl I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. 
And here I was, thinking she was just a generic childhood friend trope. Never realized she had feelings too. I guess, if you're playing this right now, you obviously were never interested in me in the first place. That's false. I I didn't know that going into... I honest, Honestly, I guess what I thought going into this mod was that it would be sort of more like... It wouldn't be as revolved around Sayori as it was. I thought it would be more revolved around Monica. Basically, how she would cope with losing her powers versus... You know, her getting in an accident and ending up absent for, like, most of the game, but... Should've just stayed out of it from the start. Should've just disappeared. No. I can't shake this feeling that, on some crazy notion, there are others out there that truly care for me. And that's enough to keep me going. Alright, I think it's gonna be like this for the rest of the game. That's actually interesting. I'm not gonna lie. That's an interesting end. I wonder what happens if we pick no, then. It probably brings us back. Hey, have you ever had sleep paralysis? After this, I'm going to go back and load through the other and do the R options. It basically means being aware, but unable to move upon falling asleep or waking up. It usually happens when you're passing between sleep and wakefulness. It's terrifying, isn't it? Waking up and realizing you're absolutely defenseless. Unable to move, scream, or fight back in any way. Not to mention that you can hallucinate during sleep paralysis as well. Imagine somebody next to you in your bed, yelling at the top of their lungs or whispering something ever so softly. Whispering this belt, and creepily, and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, that's how it felt to be in this world. The nightmares stop now, but I wonder if I'll ever be free one day. Which reminds me, what's it like to be out there in the real world? Not gonna lie, the real world, it's not, like, perfect. Or I guess this game is far from perfect, but it's not, like, fabricated. There are real world problems. I mean, there's probably more bad in the world than good, but it's the good that the good's good. Like, that's what keeps you going. That's what keeps you striving. If there is no good, then there's no point in living. But, yeah, it's the, good, it's the good that keeps you going. Even though I'm okay with being here now, I still wonder how it feels to be out there. Aha, I know what you might be thinking. Most people would go absolutely insane knowing the world they live isn't real. To be fair, that sort of already happened, didn't it? It's hard for me to comprehend it, but I know there's so many more people out there just like you. Living their daily lives, going to work, coming home to family. 7 billion to be approximate. It's all very fascinating to me. I wonder. If it was possible to bring me out of this world and into yours, how would people react? Would they think I'm some sort of alien? Maybe some sort of goddess? It's bold. Personally, I want to be treated like a normal girl. Just like how you treat them most likely. They'd probably treat you as like a cyborg or like AI. I'd love to take in everything about my new reality at my own pace. It's only a dream for now. Maybe one day. Anyway, I guess I should head back now. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, so I thought it was just going to be here, but this is a Sayori Focus mod after all. I honestly did not know that. Maybe we'll meet again someday. Did the game really just end there? Alright. I was like, I was honestly expecting, I was going to go back because I thought the game was going to end with just us saying in the void. And I was content with that. That would have been a pretty, like, decent ending, but I guess we really do have to end it off, like, actually. Nasuke and the artist have laid out the cakes on two desks, both covered with an opaque plastic lid. Alright, Raven, I'm going to blindfold you now so you can tell us which cake is the best without any bias. Should have done that first, sounds good to me, I guess. Alright? I hear the platters being shuffled around a bit. Now I have no idea which cake I'll be getting fed. I'll just have to choose the best one. You can choose based on the flavor, I guess. Okay, Raven, open wide. I do as she says and wait for the fluffy cube of goodness to satisfy all my desires. As soon as I take a bite, my mouth fills with incredible flavor. It almost seems to explode in my mouth each time I chew. The frosting melts away on my tongue as its spongy counterpart takes its place. I'm almost disappointed that I have to swallow the piece. Let out a sign and prepare myself for the next cake. Okay, here it comes. Sarah so places another small piece of cake in my mouth. Holy sweet mother of Christ. The flavor. The texture. I thought it was going to be like, this is disgusting. This is the best cake I've ever had. I guarantee you... This obviously, this has to be Monica, Sayori, and uh, Yuri. I desperately try to hide my actions, but I can't help myself. I move the blindfold and wait for my eyes to adjust to the light. Damn, what the fuck is going on there? I look to the left to see Natsuki's cake, and to the right to see the art. Both seem to be vanilla flavored, covered in smooth strawberry icing. Alright, I made my decision. The second cake wins for sure. It was by far the best cake I've ever had. I have expected Natsuki to start celebrating, but instead she crosses her arms and looks away. Knew it. That had to be the ending. Yuri and the girls cake won? They made a cake this good? Hooray, you did it, Yuri. Ah, well, I don't deserve all the credit, Sayori. 
I wouldn't have done it without you and Monica. We did great, guys. See what teamwork can do? Why are they, like, overlapping? Siri pulls Yuri and Monica in for a hug. Seriously, that kick was killer. You could probably win competitions with that one. The three girls start celebrating together, laughing and making jokes. Well, they put, like, cocaine in their cake? Jesus. Look over Natsuki, who's sitting on a desk staring at cake. Sayori cuts the celebration short and walks over to her desk. Hey, Natsuki, it's okay. I'm sure your cake is still really tasty. Huh? It's all right. I guess I underestimated how well you three could work together. She's like, I wasn't even at my full bacon potential. This is all just a friendly competition, right? No hard feelings. You can't say that when you win. Of course, it's a nice change of pace to get out baked for once. Although, I'd like to see you try to take me one-on-one. -on -one. Aha, I'm sure you'd knock everyone out. Haha, <laughs> yes, now we can eat cake. We all start laughing together, except Sayori, who remains oblivious to why everyone's laughing in the first place. Eh, uh, what's so funny? What? Oh, alright, you ready to head out? Hey, Raven, can we talk? Oh, sure, what is it? What are we talking about? Sayori looks off to the side and takes a deep breath. You know, it's hard to forget what Monica did. I don't know if I truly love you. My heart skips a beat. Ah, she's breaking up. Am I real? No. I clench my fist in frustration. Just like punches her. That feel real to you? The anger I felt all those weeks ago come back to me. This is what Monica did to us. But I relax my hands and grab hers. Siri looks up at me. I understand how you feel. If I'm honest with myself, I wonder the same thing too. But look around us. Even if this isn't real, I'm glad I can still feel your warm grasp in my hands. And as you said... Love can't fix everything, if that's what gives me meaning. I won't complain about it. Sayori so looks into my eyes, full of wonder. She's giving me that same airheaded bubble look she always gives me. Well, let's head out. Oh, mine just ends there. Sayori so grabs onto my blazer and gets close to me. I love you, Rape. Thank you for saving me that night. Ooh, that, I, that was so long ago. Thank you for being there for me when I struggle with all of this. Thank you. Thank you for being my salvation. Bruh, is the mod really going to end on that? Oh my god. Please don't tell me it's going to... Oh, that's a really good picture. This... This is fucking great. I'm not going to... I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. Hold on, what happens if I click? Is, does it go away? I'm pretty sure it does. This is a great picture, by the way. Our hands like spasming whatever reason, but it's still a great picture. Damn, we can't even see it. Oh, where's the credits? So you're going to be like... Oh, that's good. That's good. Not going to lie. Oh, damn. There's no lyrics, no vocals. Is that someone's name? It's just, it looks like base 64 text. Alright. Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. The ending was pretty good, pretty satisfying. Let's see. 12 Jizz Guy 6. Sorry. You know, I wonder if Dan ever plays some of these mods. I mean, probably not, but I mean, like, you'd think at least, like, some of the good mods. He, to be honest, he developed the game for what? Like, him and his team, Team said, wow, like, what, two, three years? I mean, you'd be pretty sick after that. Like, it'd be like, I just, I'm so fucking done. But, yeah, I mean, like, some of the good ones, at least. Like, like, uh, I don't know, just like... <sighs> Alright, I forgot that, like, uh, so 12... G is is guy six. He's probably like the main person since his name is showing up on everything. But yeah, like I guess he's the, like the leader, and whatnot. But I mean, yeah, just like I wonder what the artists would look like because they they said I remember reading on the Reddit page and the main problem was with artists. But honestly, is is this the piano one? I don't even know. I want to see the voices out for the characters. The voices, that was a great addition to the game. That's really good. Not gonna lie. Trapsuki is Natsuki. That's funny. Ugh. Website design. It's a participation trophy, really. Nah. I can't say that because I don't actually mod.
Yeah, so I was about right. It's about 25 minutes now. But I mean, still though. This was, this was a good sized mod. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, what was the longest mod I played? New Eyes. And I actually plan on replaying a brand new day at some point. Because they've just added so much shit to it. From when I last left off. Unfortunately, it means I'll have to redo the whole thing. But I mean, I guess I can compare it to my original playthrough. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. So I guess that's on my list at some point. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's good shit. Good shit. But I still have to play through some stuff. Because there, there's a lot of choices we were given. Not really sure how many of them would matter. Alright, so, alright, let's read this. Jesus. Alright, so. Thank you. So there you go. That's DDLC Salvation. It's been a hell of a ride developing this mod. We've gained and lost a lot of good people along the way. But I couldn't have done this without you all. Whether you hate it or liked it, I really appreciate you gained this far. I know this isn't the best one out there, but I can guarantee many hours of hard work went into this. If it wasn't for my team and friends, I would have quit a long time ago. I know there's weird story elements and different art styles, but I thought it would be a nice way to show all the amazing talents of the DDLC community. The art styles, that's really good, actually. Let me see said no. No, it's actually really good. I really love the different art styles. This mod also is, my, is also my goodbye to the DLC community. I think it's time I left to buy and pursued our interests. That doesn't mean I hate by any means. This game will always have a special place in my heart, and all of you guys will. So thank you. Thank you for having my dream come alive. Thank you for be being here for me the whole way through. Thank you for playing DLC Salvation. So long. I'll never forget you guys. 12 Jizz Guy 6. I mean, it's pretty, that's pretty humble. Because, I mean, like, I mean, that's a good point, like, stepping off point. Like, because I'm, I'm not a modder. I don't make mods. But that's a pretty good stepping point. Because, especially, like, this mod, this, like, not gonna lie. This isn't a shit mod. This is a pretty good mod. And, like, it, it's clear that. I think they said, I think I remember reading somewhere like nine months of total, like my nine months in total. Like that's a good amount of time to work on a mod. Lots of time went into this mod. So this is sort of like the culmination of everything like you've done in the community. And then once you're done with that, sort of like a good stepping off point. Because like, I mean, you can't really like, like you sort of have to put everything you can into one mod. Because like, if you end up making a lot of shitty mods, I mean, in the end of the day, it's a lot of shitty mods. But, like, if you make one really good mod where you put all your effort into it, then, like, you can't really, like, I guess, you can't really improve upon it. Or get, no, you can, but, like, you can't really, uh, I don't, what's, what's the wording I'm thinking of? You can't really, I guess, just, like, you can't really just, like, in, no, you can't improve, but you can't, like, do the same thing again. Because, like, I mean, you're probably burnt out, but, like, it would sort of, like, devalue, I guess, what you did to begin with. So, like, yeah, it's just, that's a really good step in. Alright, so, thank God I didn't delete all my loads. I was worried about that. Alright. This, I don't think matters. Alright, so this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hold on. Where's the, yeah, so this is the load where, wait, what? Oh, I'm on page two. Fuck, hold on. So hold on, yeah, that doesn't really matter. Page one. So we, I'm gonna skip that because I'm interested to see. So yeah, I guess we might as well go with it. here. Let's go with this one. Ooh, Siri closely examines the characters on the screen. It looks cute. So these girls are dragons. I had no clue what that it was about. Yep, I know it's kind of strange, but this anime is pretty funny and pretty cute too. These dragons try to fit in with the humans, and the blonde one does so by becoming a maid. You really do know your anime, don't you, Raven? I boop Sayori on the nose for teasing me. Let's just watch a little bit, alright? As the opening of the anime plays, Siri starts giggling. Hee <laughs> hee, these dragon girls have pretty big boobs, don't they? That's a weird observation. Now I know why you enjoy this. Why did that have to be the first comment, like, made? About it? I feel my face turn red. I, er... Uh, look, I didn't come here to get bashed for the anime I like, Sayori. I gently poke her belly. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. I'd love to have a dragon made of my own. Does all right so, all right so yeah, it doesn't really matter which one we picked then. Magica, the one we picked was Redo Life. Magica, what do you think of this one? I have no clue what it's about. How about this one? Hmm, this looks pretty cute. What's it about? Eh, it's not scary to say. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's gonna be some weird shit, isn't it? Eh, what do you mean? I guarantee you, it's gonna be weird shit. Well, I can't go into too many details, but it's basically about magical girls who fight evil witches. The main character is just your average everyday schoolgirl until she meets these figures from her dreams. What? 
Eventually she finds herself in a distorted world in which she is saved by one of the magical girls and her companion. Let's just say this anime gets a little dark. Cute and fun on the outside and only a dark secret on the inside. Is this an actual anime? I might want to check it out then. Seems like this game. Don't try and scare me, Raven. Right? Anime this cute wouldn't be dark. Don't say I didn't warn you. I... See where he calls up in my lap and starts watching with me. Alright, so it doesn't go into detail, I guess. So that's good. So I'm gonna I might check that out. Capes Baldy. Heh, <laughs> how about Capes Baldy? Heh, <laughs> Capes Baldy? That's a funny name for an anime. I don't even know what it's about. It's an inside joke. It's about this bald superhero who can defeat anything with a single punch. The anime itself is actually really interesting and funny. It's one punch man. Eh, <laughs> anything wouldn't that get boring after a while? Well, that's the idea. He's so powerful that he never has a real challenge, and he's constantly looking for an opponent who will give him a thrill. Now that I think about it, I wonder if Natsuki is familiar with this anime. Probably. What makes you say that? Well, there's a character that reminds me of her. I do not know. I haven't seen. I haven't actually watched it. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's watch some. Something feels strange about talking to Sayori about this sort of thing. What? I think I was going to join the anime club. Loser. Talking about anime with my girlfriend is something many my art friends would kill to do. Guess I lucked out. Alright. So I know that one is One Punch Man. Yellow haired ninja. That's gotta be Naruto then. If hold on. If alright. I didn't know these three. Like I don't know what these three would be. But yeah, Cape Baldi is that's I should have known that's One Punch Man. Yellow haired ninja, that's Naruto. What a beautiful doing. I actually have no idea what that is. This one's been going on for a long time now. Just ended recently actually. What about this one? It's about these ninjas that go around and do ninja things. I mean, what makes this one so special? I don't know. Well, the main character lost his parents at a young age and was treated horribly by everyone around him because he has a beast sealed inside of him. Jesus. He never gave up. He kept on pushing himself to become a ninja and succeeded. He never gave up his dream to become the leader of his village. See where his eyes light up. Well, I'm interested now. He reminds me of myself and how I used to be. Jeez, my brain always told me to give up and quit. But I never quit. I always tried so hard for you. It's got personal real quick. Say where laser hand my life and start the MA on her own. Never give up, Sayori. Keep on fighting. Alright. Uh, what's the last one? I don't know. Hmm, not sure if Sayori would like this one. I have no idea what it is. This is really anime. I saw myself watching with her. You want to watch this one, Sayori? Then why would you pick it? Oh, because I forced you to. Hmm, well, it definitely looks like something you'd watch. Uh, what is it? Uh, I mean, yeah, maybe, but I think you'll like it. It's split into parts, but it basically revolves around a specific bloodline whose destiny is to protect the world and bring justice. And around the third part, the anime introduces these abilities called stands, <laughs> which forms a mental energy that can have a variety of abilities. Alright, now, now I know what it is. Uh, Jojo. You don't even know what my stand is. So here he starts giggling. Eh, what's so funny? Well, I've never heard you get so passionate about something before. It makes me more interested in the stuff you like. Ah, well, that's nice. Siri calls next to me and rests her head on my shoulder. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so, got through all that. So I'm gonna have to watch Maga Cuff. Apparently there's like some sort of twist. Alright, so I'm gonna save this. Oh wait, no. I was gonna save, uh... I guess this is a... Alright, load. Maybe... I guess it doesn't really matter what we check because we go into our house regardless. Wait. Oh my god. It, it literally doesn't. This choice literally does not matter. What what choice does this have? Like, why make a choice? Why even put a choice there? Like, it literally does not matter. Why would you even put a choice there? Alright, so. Yes, no matter what, we do it. So, what is this? Yes, no. Wait, what? Oh, this is whether or not she loves us. And then this is whether or not we want to be with her. So I guess we should do this one. Do you want to talk to me? No. Okay. I understand. I'll never forget this moment. I still love you. Goodbye. Alright, so it just says goodbye regardless. So it just goes through there. Mm. And then it goes straight here. That's what I figured it would do. I, I want to. It really hate. It really pains me to do that. But I want to see what she says. Uh, when I say no. I Monica tears up again. I understand, but I'll make things better. I'll make things better for the girls you care about so much. You deserve to be happy, and so do they. 
I promise not to interfere. Thank you for giving me this chance. Okay, so that doesn't really do anything. Alright, so I guess the last one I want to do... So I have two more left. I have Saver and Deleter. Or I should do this, just to see what the dialogue... Alright, so Ribbon for a new bow. Wait, a ribbon? So this one has to be Monica then. Sheet mu but they kept making references for sheet music for Monica. So I guess maybe I should go for it. Ribbon for a new bow. That could be for Sayori. I guess, yeah, it makes sense. Let's do this. Okay, wait a minute. Duh, Monica plays piano. Alright, there we go. I remember saving some sheet music for her way back when the literature club just started. She kept mentioning how much she's been practicing. Of course, thanks to that accident, I doubt she's been able to practice much. Walk over to the fridge where I posted the sheets. Take them down and place them in my school bag. Alright. Fuck, so now we just have to skip until the actual hospital part. Huh? Why do you give me sheet music? Does she not remember she plays piano? Alright, this is what I was looking for. Well, it was all because I remember when you used to arrive late for club stuff. You said you were practicing on the piano. I thought that this might help out. Ah, that makes perfect sense. It's been so long since I've played. Hopefully I haven't forgotten how to play piano. Haha. <laughs> I refrain from saying anything more. I can't imagine what it must be like to deal with memory loss. No, oh, hey, I still really appreciate the gift. Alright, so that was a weird gift regardless. So, like, I guess then we should do ribbon for a new bow. Oh, that's just perfect. I'll look over to my drawer and pull out a brand new red ribbon. Oh, got a red one. I'm sure Monica gets tired of that old white bow. Maybe she's ready to change her luck. Bro, we literally just turn her into Sayori. I hope she doesn't take it the wrong way and assumes I hit her white bow or something. That's literally how it's going to go. I wrap up the ribbon in a neat circle and place it in my school bag. Alright, so, no, fuck, wrong button again. Skip. Oh, a ribbon? For a bow? Monica giggles. I wasn't really expecting that sort of reaction. Aha, uh -huh, thanks, Raven. It's cute. Monica inspects the ribbon closely and smiles. Well, I'm glad you like it. Aha, uh -huh, it's quite fun, really. I'm pretty sure this is something Sayori would actually use, you know? Alright, so she basically says that. I don't know what makes you think that. Think about it. See, where's the only one here that wears a bow? At least with this color. I still like my white bow, after all. Ha. Huh. Hmm. I guess you do have a point there. Oh, hey, I still... Alright, so... Yeah. I wonder what the... How she... So, I basically... I ended up giving her, like, the worst gift. Yeah, that's sort of my bad. I know. I will go to my drawer and pull out a fancy brand new pen. I mean, it's only new because I never used it much, and I'm sure Monica would love to have a new pen to write with. That's literally... How is that even a gift? Literally a pen. Imagine someone gifts you like, someone actually gifts you a pen. It's like, this this has to be the worst gift in existence. A pen, but why? I'm a bit shocked at Monka's question. Maybe I chose the wrong gift. That has to be the worst gift. I was thinking that it might be a good idea for you to write stuff whenever you feel like passing time. Oh, aha, uh -huh. what a nice thought ring. I like it. Hmm. But it makes me think you gave me this pen because of Yuri. Wait, what? Where did that come from? Ah, uh, oh, not sure. What's a feeling as far as I know? You're just pretty fond of fancy pens. Just a feeling, you know. Plus, I'm perfectly okay with my red heart pen. It never fails. Ooh, I didn't see that. Ah, uh, I don't see what that has to do with anything. Right. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I've been away for some time, you know. Still trying to get used to all this. Alright, so, the pen was definitely the worst gift. Because I was thinking of the gifts, rather than being equated to the characters, just like various levels of affection. I was thinking like, Fancy pen, that's gotta be a shit gift. She music is alright. And then a new ribbon for a new bow. I was thinking like for her, actually like for her bow, and I'm like, oh, it's pretty good. But a bouquet of flowers is really the most affectionate gift you can give. So the last part, this is gonna pain me. Because this could like, this could actually end the game like right here. Something like this. I'm not, I'm not sure what happens if we click this. I have no clue. It's probably gonna branch into some sort of like alternate ending. That's what I'm thinking it is. But I don't know if it's actually going to delete or save her. I pull out the pistol from my pocket, holding it by the barrel. What the fuck? That... Wait, what? That doesn't make sense, because the gun jammed. It's not going to work. The anger is still boiling inside me. I stare at Monica as she takes the pistol away from me. I look down and see her grab the magazine off the floor. You know, it's funny. The barrel of the pistol is against her temple once again. Is she actually going to do it? What's, what's her last words going to be? This wasn't how things were supposed to be. Damn, is she actually going to do it? But you made this choice. So, what was she saying? Like, she was going to make things right and kill herself? Because I don't remember the dialogue preceding this. And, 
It's clear to me now that I don't know how to love you, so I'll leave you be. Please don't tell me. Please don't. Don't do this. Alright, I regret this. I regret this. Don't fucking show a... Alright, thank God they didn't show a visual. I'm like, I'm like, wait, I made the, I made a bad choice. Shouldn't have done that. Is that just prima... Ooh, this is... Jesus, that's sad. That's fucking... I... Now I'm depressed. This, this is making me depressed now. I don't want to see this. Damn, I definitely made... Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, there we go. I was like, Phew. thank God I didn't pick this choice. I just Monica C H R has been deleted. Actually, hold on, bro. I, if this fucks up all my previous saves, show me. I want to. I want to. I want to see if it actually delete ended up deleting the, her character. What the fuck happened to the characters? All right, wait. No, she's still here. That's bullshit. Can bring her back. Oh, now the game's gonna crash. I fucked up. Is it just gonna go like this forever? Oh, I can't skip it. God damn it. Yeah, it's probably just gonna go like this forever. Alright, so you literally cannot just end the game. Yeah, it's probably just gonna go like this forever. There has to be no end. It just has to be repeating the same line. Alright, yeah, so we're done with that. Um, we're gonna end the game on a good note, I guess. No, we're just going to go straight to the main menu. We're not going to finish that. Alright. So yeah, it's been about 40 minutes. So 40 minutes. So that gives me about 20 minutes to talk about the game. And since we know that character files have no impact on the game, there's no point in like trying to mess with shit like that. But anyway. I mean... Where do I even start? I guess... You should really start with like what was good about this mod. I guess what's good about this mod, like, aesthetically speaking, the visuals, amazing. Like, the different artists, that's, even though, like, that was more so, like, a, uh, anyway, even though, even though that was, like, more so, like, just, I guess, like, that was more, like, a logistics thing, it still, it still served the mod really well. Like, the different artists, like, Especially like, what was it? The one picture of Sayori was really good. Even though the context of that picture is a bit, uh, a bit questionable. But it was still a really good picture. And like the other artists, they didn't do a bad job too. Like all the artists drew well. Even some of the more simpler drawings. They were fairly well. This title drawing, the, the menu screen drawing is also really good. This one's probably actually brighter than that, I'd say. I really like it. But, so yeah, it's good. The audio... The audio and the music and the mod is really good. It's, 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 music is actually one of the things that really, I guess, even, I, I should talk about the back, or I guess, there weren't really that many background visuals. I mean, there was like the pier, the beach, like the shortcut, that was mainly it. So the background visuals weren't that, like, weren't that, or I guess, essential to the mod. But like, unlike the, like, drawings, the art is really good. Because, I mean, some mods have really great visuals and, like, backgrounds. But, like, this mod, it's a bit different. Because it has really good, like, drawings and, like, really good art. Mainly of, like, the characters. Not a lot of mods have that. I guess the audio and the music. Again, not a lot of mods have, like, original audio and music. It's mainly just using music from the game. And not many of them have, like, remixes and remakes. And, like, remasters of, like, all the DDLC themes. And multiple as well. This mod is probably the best mod I've played for, like, music-related Especially like some of the piano stuff when they were like making it so like it was supposed to be Monica playing and it was like just great piano pieces for the mod. And then what else? Um, those those two really helped the mod. They were really like they really made the mod. Like I'm not even going to lie at this point. I guess what was good was that was the length of the mod. I guess I should no. This is more so just getting to like standard stuff because like some mods are like too short. And then, I guess, I haven't really played a mod too long. I mean, a brand new day, um, a brand new day, I guess, I don't know how much co new content they added. Because, like, new eyes, it's long, but it's understandably long. And it was a good mod. It wasn't like the length was for nothing. I guess, I might, I'm going to also talk about this a bit in, the, like, the cons part of this mod. But, like, the length of the mod was fairly good. It was, like, 8 to 10 hours. Because this is like my 7th recording and I went a bit over an hour for each. So it was probably like around 
Yeah, probably close to like seven to eight hours. That's a good size mod. That's like the ideal size for a mod. And I'm I'm also gonna talk about that more in the cons because that's mainly that's main my a, a specific part that is what my main gripe is with about this mod. But also, yeah, also just like the concept of the mod. This is a fairly like this is a fairly original idea, which is why I played the mod. Like there aren't really that many mods that are centered around you know, lots of mods are centered around Sam and Seaward, but not many mods portray like Monica's like in this way, like, is her sort of, like, I mean, mods portray Monica as, like, some mods may portray Monica as, like, good, as to where she learns her lesson, but not many put her, even though, like, it was sad to see, like, Monica go through what she did through this mod, especially that, that fucking ice cream, that was depressing, I'm not even going to lie, that was, like, that, like, sunk my heart, but, like, just, like, seeing her go through hardships, and then learn through that, that, you know, she was wrong, and specifically hardships related to her, not being able to code and also her being neglected like those hardships are what caused her to learn it wasn't like she learned out of nowhere that you know because like that was i guess that's what the afternoon mod i was playing shattered world it was kind of like that where just out of nowhere she's like yeah i realized what i did was wrong like that doesn't really make sense in a way you need like some sort of experience like what she went through this mod in order to make that seem plausible which is they did a good job on that and also like they did a they did a fairly good job. It wasn't as good as exit, exit music in developing the relationship between the MC and Natsuki, or I guess for this mod it'd be with MC and Sior. But it still did a fairly good job on like s developing their relationship, because like with exit music it was sort of like a gradual climb. With this mod it seemed like we got to like our high point really qu quickly and just fluctuated from there. It wasn't like we had to go through like trials or whatnot in order to like reach various steps in our relationship but I mean like yeah still did a fairly good job in showing that yeah is that really everything I mean that might be everything I have to talk about for like pros but like yeah I guess cons now the main con and I talked about this with exit music or exit music I talked about with this mod is a lack of a plot line because, I mean, the mod is obviously focused around Maka losing her coding powers and us not only saving Siori, but eventually, like, developing our, like, healthier relationship with her. There, There is no real set, like, plot points in this story. Like, it's sort of, it's, like I said, Act 2 was basically just a dating sim. I mean, Act 1, Act 1 had sort of a plot line where it's like, you know, it started with us finding Siori in her room, making sure that she was safe, and ultimately, like, ultimately like figuring out what's wrong with Monica and it all sort of ends with the car crash or like the accident that sort of had a bit of a plot line act three had a bit of a plot line as but not as much it had it had a little plot line where it's like you know act three mainly starts with Monica coming back eventually her going crazy finding her in our room and then sort of like everything just being like revealed sort of just like everything getting out and eventually like coping with that that's still not really that much of a plot line. I guess, like... And then, also... Act 4, yeah, Act 4 wasn't even a plot line. That was just sort of, like, the ending. Because, like, yeah, that was, that was really... Because, like, Exit Music had a plot line. Because, like, it it wasn't just a Dane Sim. Because, like, a Dane Sim is zero plot line. It's, it's, it's literally a Dane Sim. And that's basically what Act 2 was for this. But Exit Music did, in a way, where the other characters... And basically, how, like what we do with the art characters, that's what really determines the plot line. Because, like, obviously the main, like, aspect of the story is us with Sayori, but that doesn't really leave a lot of room for plot, like, sort of plot development. But what Exit Music did was, even though the main aspect of the story was, like, us being with Natsuki, it still had side plot with, like, the other characters, and that was what made it felt like the story was moving. Like, with this mod, when you get to Act 2 and it's just us and Sayori, like, every day, nothing really changes. It doesn't really feel like the mod's moving. Obviously, it has a direction where, like, eventually we're trying to, like, get Monica better or whatnot because she's in the hospital or whatever. But, like, it doesn't really do anything with that. Like, we meet up with her once. That's basically it. So, like, I mean, we have some interaction with Monica through, like, visions and, like, what she's when she's speaking to us or whatnot. But that doesn't really, like, I'm saying whatnot a lot. I don't know why. But that doesn't really, like, that's not really some sort of plot. That's more so just, like, I don't know, to fit Monica in it. doesn't really feel like it's leading somewhere. And I guess this is less of a problem, but, like, Exit Music did a real good job of, like, keeping the timeline. It made sure what day we were on. Like, it literally said at the beginning of each day, it would give the date. 
or not even the date, just the day of the week. Like this mod didn't do that, and this mod probably should have done something similar. It shouldn't have given like the exact date, but like, because this mod skipped around a lot, especially near the end. Like obviously, the first part of the mod is like Act One is like a week after. Um, yeah, Act One is like close to a week after. No, it's literally the next week after DDLC, and then Act Two is like. A month or two later there's like I knew that but like it should have really like especially within the acts I'm talking like I think the Monday Tuesday whatever would have worked better in a mod like this where there's so much jumping around and I guess I'm gonna get near the end but yeah cuz like in act two in act two we don't really knew how long that lasted because again with the plot line it doesn't really it sort of just kept like going on and on so I guess I'll talk about length after but like yeah and then eventually you get to like act three and four where like it just starts jumping out of nowhere where it's like all right one week's gone another week's gone another week's gone it's been a month two weeks after that like we don't really know what time we know it's around the holidays but like a concrete timeline during each act would have been really nice it's like the first tuesday or the second tuesday that would have been good to know like where we are and how much time has been since we've last interacted with the i guess whatever and then yeah i guess that brings me to the length of the mod like, the length of the mod, like I said, it was a good length. Like, seven to eight hours is, like, the ideal length for a mod. But that length needs to be, like, meaningful. Because, like, Act 2, I really felt like Act 2 should have been shortened up a bit. Because, like, it was literally essentially just a dating sim with Sayori. I mean, there can be time for that, but it shouldn't take up most of the mod. Like, with Exit Music, it felt that way, but, like, then it quickly developed plot. And it, like, had plot alongside, which... I guess if there was something like that in this game, not only would it make it feel like, I guess, it's not taken up the entire time of the mod, but also, even if you kept the same amount, and then just add some, like, side plot points. So, like, we ended up dealing with Yuri, and not, we ended up, like, hearing about Yuri and Nasi's problems. So we never really did anything with that. If we ended up doing stuff with that, then it would have felt more meaningful. Like, our time with Sayori, it would have it would have definitely not seemed like it was just dragging on. It was, it was basically the main point of the mod at Act 2, but, like, yeah, I really just think Act 2, or I guess I'll talk about that after. Alright, so yeah, so like length, um, that's basically all the gripes I've had for the mod. There's like literally nothing else. Um, overall, I don't think, at first I thought it might give Exit Music a run for its money, but I don't think, I don't think it beats out Exit Music. Because the two mods are similar, they're, they're extremely similar, they have parallels. So like... I mean, obviously, the main difference is the endings. The endings are extremely different. This mod is a good ending. That mod has a... I guess you could view it as good, but objectively a bad ending. And this mod, it, has, it also has a side plot point in where Mach is losing her coding powers. It also, I could have felt like it could have done more with that. It sort of just seemed like... Because it was, it was, the mod was very unclear about how Monica... Or like, what powers Monica was losing. It was just like, oh yeah, she's... Losing her coin powers, and she's... I mean, we could assume that, like, one. She couldn't delete characters, and that... I think at one point, we thought that, like, she couldn't, like, project herself as, like, an entity. She had, she had to, like, just speak with us directly through our mind, or just, like, dreams. And that's basically it. There wasn't really, like, any other sort of... It didn't really give, like, us... I felt like there were some mods where, like, while we were dreaming, or, like, while we were sleeping, it would give Maka's perspective. I felt that would be really good for this mod, because it would keep us updating, give us, like, tabs on what Monica can or can't do throughout the mod, but it didn't really do that. So, like, it ultimately just, it, it could have been a side plot point, but it didn't really end up. So, like, the whole mod just sort of been, like, it was revolved around Sayori, when, in reality, Say the Sayori should have definitely been a big part of the mod, but also should have focused on Monica, Yuri, and Natsuki as well. But, like, yeah, I guess... I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's 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 the end of, like, the cons of the mod. And even though I sort of dragged on, like, the cons, I guess. But even though it may seem like a lot, this is still a pretty damn good mod. I mean, I'd, I'd place it fourth. I'd say my top five would be New Eyes, definitely one. Rain Clouds, two. Exit Music, three. Salvation, four. And Behind Closed Doors, one, two, five. I may have to... I might rethink that. But, like, yeah... Because, but yeah, those are definitely my top five. I mean, I'll have to see. No, I think Behind Closed Doors might be ahead of this. I don't know. It's, but the top three is, the top three is definitely got to be... Exit Music would have had much more of an impact on me if I went into it without being spoiled of the ending. 
So I, I'm just going to leave it at three for now. Just like knowing that, or I guess just assuming that fact, but like, yeah. So this definitely doesn't make a run for top three, but it is like, it is around the same quality as behind closed doors, which is really good. Both of the, like I say a lot of shit, I'm shit talking right now about the mod, but they're, it's a really good mod. Like I would play it if, I would play it again if I could, or I would play it, I would play it again. If I could go back and play it again, I would. But yeah, I guess, so my overall, like, I guess if I do, I don't even know why I'm doing a rain at this point, but like I'd give it a, like a solid four out of five stars. I th I'm pretty sure I give that rate to every mod, so it's kind of like, it it's meaningless at this point, but yeah, it's just, yeah, what it could have done better, and I guess this is what I want to talk about, because like, I can't shit talk a mod without giving it constructive criticism. I think that's why I did with Exit Music, but yeah, but I guess what this mod could have done better was, or I guess, if, if we're going based, solely based on what this mod is at first glance, I guess, or what the mod has to offer. You sh it should have definitely slimmed down Act 2. Act 2 definitely felt like it was dragging on. Act 1, X 1, 3, and 4 were definitely good. But Act 2 was sort of like... It took up most of the mod. It was like right in the middle. It just sort of like killed the vibe. Because it was really just dragging on at that point. And I guess that's, that's the big one. But I guess you could like avoid doing that. If you focused on side plot points. Such as like actually like seeing what Maka is going through. Like, I think I said, a good example would be through if we were sleeping, rather than getting visions about Sayori or whatnot. I think it should have, like, transitioned to Monica, like, sort of what she's doing at that moment. It would definitely have kept us updated with her and given us tabs and given us, like, that, that'd be, like, a good side plot point. And also with Yuri and Natsuki, it could have developed more because we figured about the, out about each of their problems, so we didn't really do anything about that. We could have had like a mini side plot point with like Yuri and Natsuki where we help them like alleviate their problems. And then eventually just through the rest of the story, just like check up on them every once, every like now and then just because we're, you know, we care about them. And that would have definitely, it would have definitely like, it would have like, I guess, it would have alleviated that like feeling that like Act 2 was really dragging on as it was basically just to say you're a Dane sim. Because, I mean, it would still be the same, like, it would still be a Sayori Dane sim effectively. And, like, it would still be the same length. I guess the overall length of the mod would increase if you focused on, like, these side things. But it wouldn't have felt like it was dragging on. As we would have been, like, we would have had our Monica-like side plot point at night, seeing what she's up to. We would have been helping Yuri and Natsuki as well. So it wouldn't have felt like it was dragging on and just, like, taking up the whole story. But, yeah, that's my big improvement. Um... I guess I'm not really sure what else there is to say. I mean, I guess I'm gonna play. Sh I'm gonna start playing Shattered Worlds from now on. I'm gonna only play DDLC once. I'm I'm literally just I'm going to start Civ as the afternoon coins. I'm not gonna do double DDLC because it's just too much to keep up with. So like it's because I mean like realistically you're not gonna be able to watch two and a half hours to three hours worth of video in one day, just realistically speaking. And yeah, I also want to get back into Civ so. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much left to say. This is a really good mod. I mean, probably... I think it's objectively one of the better ones on the modding website. It, 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 and it wouldn't surprise me. Like, this mod's made really great. And, like, again, like, the mod... If you took away the, like, art and, like, the designs and, like, the drawings and, like, the audio and the music, the mod would have been average, I would say. I would say average to, like, good. But those are what really made the mod great. Stuff like that, which can ha enhance the mod. It can really improve it. And I mean, if this mod was like, let's say, if this mod went with like, the, I guess the suggestions that I made to improve, but then and that's assuming that like my, like I'm not a writer, I'm not a director, I have no experience in any sort of like mod making or whatnot. But I mean, I guess if the mod went in the direction where I guess I suggested that would improve it, the direction that I think would improve it, and it added those things as well. This could have easily definitely been one of the best mods on the website, if not the best. But, yeah. I think I'm getting it here. There's not much left to say. Um, tomorrow, I might play Shadow Worlds. I might not. I don't know. So, yep. This is it for today. Tomorrow it is then.